How to use Google Docs? Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Documents, what are some features, how you can create a document, and why you should choose Google Documents as your document supporter. So let's get into the video. So first of all, what you need to do is you can just type in docs.google.com and you're going to access Google Documents. It is basically a feature of Google that you get and you can access it from anywhere on any gadget. You just have to type in your email and you're going to access all the documents that you have saved in Google google documents that is the best thing about google docs that you can access it anywhere and you can see all of your documents right there so uh, you can also create different kind of documents on google docs and you can uh, you're gonna see the editing and everything is amazing and the features are good and obviously it's for free it doesn't even cost a penny so this is google docs that i'm on right now along with google docs you're also getting google sheets you have google slides and google forms so like you have in microsoft office like you have in microsoft world you get your microsoft office for documents then you have excel then you have uh, powerpoint and you have your forms like uh, then in google the same thing is for google docs use the work of microsoft world and you, for the excel you have sheet and for the powerpoint you have the google slides so it is a whole regime that you can use instead of microsoft office and you can access it from anywhere uh, and the features are almost you know they are also very good so how you can access google docs and how you can basically generate a new form or a new document it's very easy so here you can see that these are some of the documents that are saved by me in my google document so you can just go on and save all of your documents to google docs and you can access them wherever you are uh, or you can edit them anytime that you want so if you are, want to add a new document you can just click on this option which says blank and it is going to open a blank document for you and you can start generating your new document but along with that you are also getting some kind of templates for the documents that you have for example when you are talking about resumes if you are creating a cv you have some kind of templates for your cv you can just go on and edit the text that are already given here you all you just have a template and you can continue with that you also have a template for letters business letter informal letter business letter again geometric letter or just a simple letter then you have some kind of personal templates as well for a recipe you have a template for a recipe or you have a template for a pet resume then you have a template for work like project proposal template you have three project proposal templates and you have three meeting notes templates and you have on onboarding notes brochure newsletters and you have mutual nda business process manuals templates and you have sales codes so there are a lot of templates that you have employment verification letter that you are getting on google documents so you can if you are looking for something specific if you are looking to create something specific so you can come here on google docs and you can check if there is a template available for that and you can continue with that for example if you are generating a report or you are writing some kind of thesis or something you have a report in the mla format and also in the apa 6th edition format like this is so good and you also have a report on uh, with apa 7th edition format so i think this is really good that your students can use and you are going to you uh, basically get all of these in specific headings like this is uh, related to education then you have freelancer engagement then you have human resources legal and there are sales and then there is business like work and then they have personal letters and resumes so these are all the templates that you have so let's create a blank document google document and let's see what are the features that you have when you are trying to make new document okay so here you can see that introducing pageless format so if you want to have a pageless format or you want to you know dismiss it it's up to you so i'm just going to dismiss it because i want to i like having a format of page i want to see the like seeing dimensions of the page that i'm working on so here you can see that uh this is a blank page now i have in like you know every document creator i have all of these tools right in the toolbar right here so uh first of all i have like text style then you have font then you have font size bold italian Alex underline at text color you can insert images you can insert link at alignment you have lining the paragraph lining the checklist you have bullets etc then you have your file you have edit format you in when you want to format it you have all these formatting tools you have other tools as well you can add work count you can see spelling and grammar you can review suggested edits you can compare two documents you have citations linked objects dictionary you can translate the document you can do the voice typing which is a new thing of google documents it is basically a good thing like you like you can do you 
can generate a document by voice typing then you have a notification setting preferences and accessibility then you also have some kind of extensions if you want to have some kind of add-ons you're going to get them from anywhere like for example i want to have some get ons let's see which ones are that those are available for google documents Okay, so we are getting the Google Workspace market uh, Workspace Marketplace. Like you have user chart, math type. So you can access all of these, you know, things that are basically related to uh, they're going to make, you know, text easy. They're going to make, you know, education easy. So these are those kind of softwares that you're going to get with Google Documents. So this is going to exit it right now so you have extensions and then you have help so when you are basically you uh, want to move your document you can just click on this option and you can also join a call to present this document if you want to and you're just directly going into google meet and you can also share this document from this option you can basically lose this you know sharing you can have it unlocked and you can share it to anyone that you want so i'm just going to type in a couple of things and then i'm going to show you how you can edit all of those text and how you can basically send a document okay so here you can see that this is a document that i have just added and i have just you know uh, added all kinds of text to it now uh, here you can see that i am getting this blue line under all of these things and it is suggesting me edits like instead of for him that he will study i'm just i can add to and it will basically uh, for him to study medicine and in there you can see that if free off free like i am getting all of these edits that will be better for my document and being to went and studied to studying uh, so these are all the grammatical mistakes and other mistakes that as well that uh, google documents points out then if i want to add this like if i want to add something in bullets i can just go on and click on that and i am going to like for example click on this bullet and it has been uh, added as a bullet point so i'm just going to undo that and here you can see that you can also have an option to get the line spacing different like this is the normal line spacing that i have right now but if i want to increase the line spacing like if i want to have a double line spacing it basically makes the whole document look more aligned and also it makes the whole document look more easy to read so here you can see that this is uh, justify and, and the whole document is justified these are small tips and tools that you can use if you want i want to have a highlight color i'm just going to click on this pink and the whole document is going to be highlighted you can do this for a specific word in the document if you want to like for example i can change the color to a little lighter thing like this so you can basically go on and edit the document as you want i want to change the font i can go on and see all of these fonts right here and i can choose anyone that i like and this is a normal text right now if you want to have a title a subtitle a heading or something like that you can add this uh, add these into the document or you can also increase the font size from here so introducing and editing and generating a document in google document is so easy and if by some chance you are not able to save your document it will be saved directly in your drive so you can just go on access your google documents or access your google drive and you are going to get this document saved there because unless you delete it yourself google documents is not letting it go anywhere so it is very easy to use and it is also very user friendly and you can you have all of these things that you can edit you have the internet you have the access to the internet you can directly insert anything that you want to into your google documents so i guess that it's a very good fix for students for business owners for professionals for whoever wants to create a document because document creation is a very important part of everything that we do uh, these days because it's an era of internet and you can you have to share all the information via documents by email or by any means of sharing that you use but documents is the key to everything for students you want to make assignments when you're a professional you make business letter you have you make job description letters you have entitlement letters there are a lot of things that you create so everything is works in a document so it's better to have an organized document center of of your own in your email rather than just you know having different kind of documents created anywhere saved anywhere so it is a very good fix so this is kind of it for today's video because i told you everything sharing the document is also very easy this is you can insert google calendar into your document you can keep or you can also have tasks in your google uh, documents contacts and you have maps options of maps right here as well when you are done with editing you can see the viewing mode or suggesting mode of this document suggesting will tell you all the edits that
that google will think will be better for your document after you're done with everything just click on this option share and share you know have the name of your document and add a name of your document and you can share it with a group of people or with specific email or you can have the you know if you want to restrict the access you can do that or you can anywhere with the link and you can just go on and share your document like that so it is very easy it, it is also very handy so this was it for today's video i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you